for strike one. He's had a few days off. He last pitched on the and some family in town. Do. So it sounds like Bayozo stretched out to give the Marlins a hundred pitches if necessary. As this one is 18th of June entered in the second inning. It wasn't a start uh, but picked up the win in four innings of work. Those are his minor league numbers. Fly ball right field. Jesus Sanchez toward the line and into foul territory makes the play. Not easy. Certainly not a lot of innings under his belt out there in right field. But with that, Bayozo becomes a major league veteran. Shades are on top of his head. No sun right now. <laughs> this one popped up left side of the infield. It looks like Bruhan will make the catch and does two away. Well, let's see the defense. To third, backhanded by Berger. Long throw to Bell. And the first inning of work under the belt of Bayozo. Valente Bayozo with a hit by pitch, but able to strand that runner. And we'll see if the Marlins can get him a little bit of run support here. It's Brady's so series win. They've got a 1 0 lead. Major League debut for Valente Bayozo. Bayozo down in the dugout. There's a ground ball towards shortstop, and Bruhan up with it makes the play. But once you get out on the map, a 1 1 coming. And lined and caught by Lopez. Now a word from FPL. This one popped up dealing with the sun on the left side of the infield. Who's going to get it? Nobody. That one just got lost in a high Kansas City. And they're thinking OK we're getting out of this inning. They're clapping. They're going to take a picture. Oh what's going on here. And he chased the fastball up, so Bayozo gets himself out of some trouble in the second. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so they've been doing that. The Royals have been doing this since Buck passed away. He passed away in October of 2000. Bobby Witt lifts a fly ball out to center field. Jazz getting underneath this one will make the catch. So. Obviously Buck O'Neill part of bringing the museum to life here in Kansas. And they sent more players to the major leagues than any other Negro League franchise. Fly ball right field Sanchez gets underneath it. All right fortunately that and that Buck O'Neill is playing first base for Satchel and his all stars and he says the first kid from the semi pro team gets into the batter's box digs in. Satchel throws him a fastball. Kid swung as hard as crude speed tracking device. And they clock Satchel at 105. And that's when it crossed the plate. Yes. He would actually use a stick of foil chewing gum wrapper. And the catcher would sit the chewing gum wrapper down on top of home plate. And that's what Satchel would throw to. Wow. wow. Much more with Bob Kendrick coming up. Uh, there's a game going on. Great images of the electricity that he playing stickball with the kids. Now, who does that? <laughs> Willie Mays. And, and I think that's why he was so endeared by so many uh, because of that, that affable, likable talent that was there in the Negro Leagues. Fly ball center field for Jazz. And he puts that one away. And the scores including wow. big massive hands big powerful forearms big powerful thighs and great eyes I'll tell you what you're we were going to cut you loose but you're too darn good <laughs> we're going to do one more half inning oh man I'm going to get y'all out of here on getaway day <laughs> Five innings, two hits, no walks, and two strikeouts, and he has really given the Marlins exactly what they needed today in his big league debut. Just.